Should Christians use online dating apps? That is a good question. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about that. that. Three, two, one. Here we go! So today we're asking the question on online dating. Yeah. And is that something that Christians or specifically a Jesus follower, obviously, should be considering or even exploring? It's a mm. good question. But first, first, I think we need to dive into why people go to online dating. Yeah, so not just Christians specifically, but why people in general yeah. make use of dating apps. Yes. Okay. We, no. actually, we actually found a very helpful article yes. on this. Yeah. So this article explore, explores the reason why people in South Africa, specifically mm. South Africa, yeah. use dating apps. Really helpful. Listen to this. So they, they list a whole bunch of reasons. We're going to speak about seven yes. that, that explain why people in South Africa make use of dating apps. Yes. So the first reason is just for fun. For fun. Yeah. For That's fun. random, but, yeah. you know, fun could be a whole bunch of things, I guess. But for most people in South Africa, fun is online dating, yes. it seems. So to find friends is the second reason. Also strange. Yeah. Like if you're lonely and looking for friends, you go on a dating site. Yes. It's not the finding friend app. It's a dating app. Yeah. It's weird, but cool. Okay. okay. Cool. <laughs> to have a good time. That's number three. Yes. Okay. Again, to have a good time, that's that's vague. You that's know, very to have vague. a good time. Mm. I mean, that could mean a whole bunch of different things to a whole bunch of different people. But yeah. to have a good time, that's in the the top three reasons as to why people in South Africa specifically make use of dating yeah. apps. Interesting. Good times. Good times. Mm. To find a partner. But again, that's still very vague. You know, it's it's as if people in South Africa aren't sure themselves mm. about why they use dating apps. Yes, and this <laughs> is know? not referring to a marriage partner. Yeah, that only comes there. much later. So it's not to find a marriage partner, it's to find a partner. partner. A partner for fun, a partner yeah. to do things with. A, I don't know what this I'm, means. I'm, yeah, it's very vague. Uh, fifth reason is for sex. This is crazy to think. So statistically, if you are in South Africa and you make use of online dating sites, you are statistically way more likely to find someone that only wants a one-night sexual encounter with you than to find someone that would mm. be willing to spend the rest of their life with you. No. That's sad. That's really right? sad. Just no. putting yourself out there going, just looking for sex, no. that's it, no big deal, no strings attached, that, just want a good mm. time. Very no. sad. And then... Below sex, it's to find a marriage partner. So that's only where marriage comes into play about yeah. South Africans using dating apps. So again, statistically, you are you have a much lower chance of meeting someone to spend the rest of your life with, but a much higher chance in meeting someone that wants a good time or that just wants sex. sex yeah. That is the picture of online dating in South Africa does not look too good at this. Yeah, stage. the odds doesn't look great. And then yeah. the seventh reason. And this, yeah, this is the is, best yeah, one. This is the, this is the funniest this one is the, as well. Yeah, this I, is love, great. I love this. I yeah. love this. To check if my partner is cheating on me. How crazy is that? <laughs> I love it. So Yo. again, statistically, you, are, uh, you have a better chance of meeting someone online that is already in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. They're just trying to figure out whether or not their partner or boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating on them. Mm. That's crazy. And I mean, the, this article also references it's about only 10% of people that make use of online dating apps in South Africa specifically. Yeah. Only 10% of the millions of people using them end up finding someone that they'll spend the rest of their life no, with. So there's a chance. Mm. I mean, it's not no, be there silly. Is, there's, a chance. there's a chance, but you have a 90% chance of not meeting that yeah. special someone. It's a very slim chance. Very slim chance. To be honest, the, the picture of online dating in South Africa doesn't look too good. And let's not forget Tinder Swindler. Ooh. So again, you're more likely to meet someone that will scam you, lie mm. to you, steal from you, misuse you and abuse you than meeting someone yeah. special. Yes, and they can make this whole profile for themselves, but we're going to get to that part later. But is it the same for Christians though? So that's why generally people in South Africa make use of make use of dating apps. But what about the Jesus followers in yes. South Africa? Because if you didn't know this, there are actually a lot of Christian dating apps yes. in South Africa. I like, mean, I have a list here. One of them is called Christian Connect. Yeah. 
It's like the classic Christian like connecting just pot. Connect. But then you also get the Christian cafe. Classic Christians yeah. using coffee as a metaphor for everything. But yes. then my favorite is this last one. It's the Christiansweb.co.za. So they're putting it out there. They're more serious about obviously cr- connecting Christians yeah. over coffee so that they can get married. Married, like which, wed- wedding. Which yeah. makes sense. But is it the same for Christians? So there's not an exhaustive list necessarily, but we've come up with four main reasons we think Jesus followers in South Africa make use of dating apps. And I think the first one is, and I'll share this from a woman's perspective, obviously. So as a woman in church, um, I married myself, but I have lots of contact with single ladies. in churches across our city and i think amongst christian women there are there's this general feeling or consensus of girls are just tired of waiting yes. there's that they experience men as being passive or hesitant to make a move and i think my encouragement to all the single ladies out there that are just frustrated and waiting or even if you're a guy and you experience but you're tired of waiting waiting for girls to stop i don't know messing around with other guys or waiting for that girl to finally notice your efforts. Mm. But to everyone tired of waiting, and this might seem like a a cop-out answer, but I think my encouragement to you would really just be trust God's timing, friend. I mean, for me personally, that's one of the favorite things about knowing and following Jesus Mm. is I can trust him. I can trust him with every season in my life. And I mean, the Bible is full of promises when it comes to Mm. God's timing being perfect. Proverbs 16 verse 9 references how we can make plans. You know, we can do Mm. a whole bunch of things. But in the end, it's God's timing. It's his um, purpose that determines our steps. And the other one would be, but and this is uh, probably one of the most overused scriptures out there, but it's still true. But in Jeremiah 29, 11, God promises that he has good plans for you yes. and me. Plans that will prosper you mm. and not harm you. And I yes. think that's just, it's it's an easy cop-out, I guess, but it's still true. Friends, mm. if you're tired of waiting, no one waits. And at the end of the day, when God does provide, they go, oh, finally. <laughs> there's always Thanksgiving no. and there's always a sense of, I'm glad I waited. Yes. So trust God's timing. Yeah. Speaking of men. I'm going to dive into the point of boys will be boys. It's true. So I'm going to speak out of a boy's perspective. So women, boy. And let's be honest, guys. Some of our intentions is not the best intentions when it comes to dating. Not always the best. Not always the mm-hmm. best. And this is where online dating gets really easy for you because you love, yeah. you can just sit there and look at the website and scroll through the ladies. Check out. This is true, whether you're yeah. a Christian or not. Yeah, whether you're it's Christian easy. or not. It's, yeah. very, it's easy mm-hmm. and it's super passive. No one needs to know. You can just check out the ladies, look if she's pretty and anything. You don't even have to message her or do anything about it. Mm. And I think that's a bit of like out of your own desires. Mm. Sometimes you can get out of a lastly perspective. Mm. And I really just want to encourage you guys with this. I think I went through the Bible a bit. Not the whole Bible, but I thought of a few like people that maybe can relate to this. And I love this. I think the closest person that got to like online dating Mm -hmm. is is David. 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 Yeah. So we all know the story of David and Bathsheba, but just just hear me out. So so David was at his house. His wife and Mm -hmm. kids weren't necessarily there, and he Mm -hmm. was getting looking out of the city. So basically, like scrolling, Scrolling. scrolling. And then he saw this lady, so he stopped, he saw the picture, and then he swiped right. Swiped right. So he was like, I chose this lady, she's pretty. Mm-hmm. And then he sent her a message, but they didn't have like phones that day, so he sent like a messenger. He sent someone, yeah. He sent someone to send her over, and she accepted the invite. Sure. And she came over, and then whoops a daisy. Yeah, they made yeah. a mistake, they messed up. They made a mistake. They went yeah. for the sex reason. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and then she got pregnant, and it was a whole story. Mm. And you can lots see of pain, lots, lots of, of pain, lots of brokenness. Lots of brokenness. Yeah. And you can Bad. see David, it, it's not going well with David in this scenario. Mm. And yeah, just to put it out there, I think mm. David, it wasn't because of the sex and everything that that wasn't the fault. That wasn't the mistake. The mistake was him looking at a girl with his own desires mm. and wanting to the, fulfill that desires sure. with that lady. Again, not trusting God. Not trusting God. I think the for main that. point is rather trust God's timing and trust God's design yes. when it comes to romance. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. And I think 
Um, Because the the, the third reason we mentioned about why Christians maybe also like online dating is just that social media effect where you can just edit and Mm. edit yourself until you finally look (laughs) desirable, until you finally look like someone that someone else, you know, might find appealing. And gents do that as well. Yeah, yeah, this is true for ladies or gents, definitely. And I think to the crowd out there, I have this one thing. If you find it easier to rather go online, whether it's on social media or a dating site, whether it's Christian or not. But if you find it easier to rather online edit yourself until you are unrecognizable, hopefully something or someone that someone else would find desirable. If you find that easier, instead of just being your true authentic self Mm -hmm amongst your friends and people around you physically, then that means there's a gaping hole in your heart when it comes to identity, right? Because that means we're looking to other things to fulfill us and make us feel significant other than Jesus. Mm. So first, friend, go again and trust God first. Trust his opinion of you rather than someone that swipes at you or waves at you or Mm. sends you a message because God's love at the end of the day will anyway be much better than anyone or anything you find online. But then the last one is sometimes the pressure of life just gets you. This is true for Christians as well. We date online because... That clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. And yes. we get like, I think there's a certain age they reach and they feel yes. like we need to get someone. The parents start asking and everything. Definitely. But I really just want to encourage you, like, enjoy that season as well. Enjoy that season of being single because God is busy prepping you mm. for that person, for mm. that one person you're waiting for. Yes. And that's really, if I can be completely honest, there's no boundaries, no limits to you, like, pursuing God in Definitely. that season because there's no one that you have to have responsibility towards. Absolutely. Yes. So it kind of feels like the general consensus is just trust God yeah. rather than trusting in other things. Makes sense. Makes sense. Good. So before we end off, if you are a Jesus follower and you are either considering making use of a Christian or even non-Christian online dating app, or you're already doing that, here are just a few quick things for you to consider. So the first thing is I really want to ask you, why are you doing this? Mm. Really take a moment, think about think about your intentions. Be honest in this. with yourself. Is it just to find that like that someone, that partner to fulfill your mm. needs or whatever it may be, or is it really to pursue God's purpose for your life? Mm. I think that it kind of feels like you can pursue God's purpose for your life in yeah, other ways. In other ways as well. Other than online yes, dating. Other than online dating. And I think one Corinthians ten verse twenty three says it so well. Yeah, Paul writes about issues that aren't clear cut because yeah. you can find it so long, but because there's no specific rule in the Ten Commandments that go, thou shalt not date online. And I know that's the answer all of us are looking for. But Paul actually does write about Mm. issues that aren't as clear, but that help us make decisions. Yes, and he he writes to the Corinthians specifically. Mm. And in the Bible, it says, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. That's that's a very good truth. That's a very good truth. Mm. Next one, I have the right to do anything but not everything is constructive. That's a very good principle. If you love and follow Jesus, that is one of the best principles you can follow in life. There yes. are technically a lot of things you are allowed to do, mm. like online dating. There's no clear cut scripture saying you must not do this, but the question on whether this is beneficial to you opens up another conversation, conversation. entirely. Yes. And I think the, the second thing to consider it's just just consider the thought that it feels like online dating is aimed at keeping us short-sighted or mm. keeping us fixated on selfish things because yes. we, we did some exploring on online dating apps mm. ourselves. So we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But we, we catfished a little bit <laughs> and we created some fake profiles just to see what's out yeah. there. For keep it too areas. That's true. Um, But it it appears as if everything about online dating, Christian or not, is aimed at selfish reasons. It's aimed about who you are, what you want, what you desire, what you prefer, what you are looking for. And it's Mm. a very selfish way. Actually, it paints a very selfish picture of love because Mm. I have to be perfect and I'm looking for someone perfect. So Mm. if I don't like your hobbies or your interests or your photos, I just keep scrolling Mm. past you and if you look at the way Jesus or just God in general paints the picture of love in scripture it's not selfish at all I mean (laughs) the picture painted about love throughout God's word and just with his character Mm. who Jesus was on earth and who he still is it was a very selfless picture so I mean I've been married for a few years now Mm. 
And I've actually discovered that in marriage as well, you go in thinking this person is going to fulfill me. This person is going to meet my needs, pay attention to me, do things for me, which they do because they love you. But yeah. that doesn't satisfy me mm -hmm. in the end. The, the more satisfying picture of love is a selfless love, laying down yourself, yes. laying down your interests, laying down your hobbies, mm. laying down your preferences no. to the benefit of someone else. And it appears as if online dating, Christian or not, does not lead you yeah. to a selfless way of loving. It leads you to a selfish way, way of loving, loving. in yeah. general. That, that, that That's the experience mm. we got from doing yes. some exploring. So, yeah. And then lastly, I just want to encourage you with this. I think there's so many other options as well regarding getting that partner. Yo, so so find, many other ways to meet people. Yes, exactly. Yo. And I think I really want to encourage you with this one. Get involved in church. This is the best thing you can do. The best thing you can do. You can find your wife there. I, there's so many stories actually of people meeting their husband or their wife while serving in church or yeah. going on outreach on church. Not necessarily or looking for them. them yeah. But if the point is, if you're in a healthy environment in terms of church and a healthy environment in terms of, you know, your social life and a healthy environment in terms of your vocation or whatever, mm. there's no reason that you can't meet someone then. I mean, yeah. to, to go looking online for them, it kind of feels like it should be a a very, very, very lost resort because as a Jesus follower, there are just so many other spaces that you can actually meet someone physically. Yeah. So we want to end off our episode by, as we mentioned previously, we actually did some research on like Christian dating sites in South Africa. So poor Franku, we created three mm. separate profiles for him. So sorry if we catfished you in ending yeah. up liking someone that doesn't Frank exist. Pistorius. But we wanted to see just what happens if we start exploring Christian dating sites in South Africa. And friends, to be honest, as a Jesus follower, it feels like we discovered a few red flags that would make me want to encourage anyone going, rather don't make use of this, even if it's a Christian site yeah. or not. And I mean, the, the very first um, kind of potential red flag is one of the Christian dating sites, we won't name the name, but one of the Christian dating sites we found um, had a whole bunch of different preferences when it came to sexuality. Yes. So you could, as a male or a female, indicate you're looking for anything or anyone. So whether I'm a female, I could look for other females yes. or males or multiple partners even, which as a Jesus follower would raise some concerns when it comes to sexuality and just, mm. you know, the, the values of following Jesus. So that, that was a red flag. Yeah, and then you also get the relationship status. So Yeah, so the Christian dating sites ask your relationship status, which is strange to begin with. Mm, yeah, so they ask like if you are widowed or single or even married or currently dating. And we actually had one specific Christian dating site that gave you the option as a current relationship status to tick married, which is weird. Like uh, how or why? Yeah. Would, how would that be? Yeah, that, that's weird. Let's just... Like, it's allowed to go on a Christian dating site if you're married. I don't know why. That was weird. And then another red flag uh, we found, um, and this is it was actually even more concerning to me, but on a Christian dating site, friends, the, the pop-ups we found leading you to other websites, other yeah. avenues of certain things were just really concerning. Mm. I mean, a Christian dating site advocating porn as well, yeah. to be honest. So, And if, if that's the case on a Christian dating site in South Africa, it makes me very hesitant to advocate this for Jesus mm. followers going, use this. Yeah. This is a great tool to meet someone because some of those sites had some pretty concerning mm. elements to them yeah. that I just don't think is helpful to yeah. a Jesus follower at all. So that is it for today. Um, we're going to do something fun. So stay with us and check it out. Stay tuned. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we are going to do something fun that's potentially going to get us into lots of trouble. Yes, and that's why Dinette and Brent are also joining us for I this one. I don't, I don't sign up for this. Because <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble it alone. It was all Brent's idea. Just yes. putting it out there. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly use like a few minutes and we are going to create on a South African Christian dating site a dating profile for someone on our staff that is currently single and ready for a Pringle. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to create a dating profile for Donovan on our, our staff. staff. So yes. excited. 
sorry and so excited he doesn't know we're doing this at this very moment so by the time this episode actually airs he would have had a online dating profile for a few weeks already this is going to be so much fun okay so we're on a dating site franco is going to do all the, yeah, all the thing so we're going to type all in an admin. email you you need to give us that email address oh, that you it, said it's brent is a hotmail at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we're using not Donovan's emails is because he's going to get a confirmation. Mm. But we're going to use all his other info. We've got photos and we're going to create a profile for him. Welcome. Let's, okay. let's, let's do this. You okay. are now part of the world's fastest growing Christian community. I, th- I thought that was church, but okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> Here we okay, go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Your gender, gender, he's a man. He's a man. 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 I'm a real boy. Uh, Who Mm. would you like a relationship with? I'd like to meet a man. (laughs) I'd like to meet a woman. I'd like like to to meet meet a man man. or a woman. (laughs) Let's keep his options open. No, 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 no. no. (laughs) We keep this legit because we really want Donovan to meet someone nice because he's a great guy. He wants to meet a woman. He wants to meet a woman. Okay, here we go. Okay, first name? Donovan. 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 Conaway. 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 Last name. They have to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Town, Town city. Bloemfontein. 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 This is so much fun. <laughs> the basics. Are you single, never, never married? married? Well, we don't know this no. about Donovan. He's very secretive. Yo, but look at the options here. Like single, never married, separated, previously married, widowed, in, in a relationship. relationship, engaged, married. Okay, <laughs> faith tradition. Okay, here we Just go. Just Christian, Methodist, Dutch Reformed, Anglican, Anglican, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Baptist, Congregational, Full Gospel Church of God, Other Reformed, Pentecostal, Apostolic, Other Apostolic, Zion Christian, other the other Zionist, <laughs> Ethiopian. That's a random one. No. Ethiopia Bandla. is a country. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just say just Christian. Let's say just Christian. There's he's, too he's many options. Yeah, he's just Christian. Tell us a bit about yourself. Personality. <laughs> Personality. How would you okay. go? Good friend. Describe you. How would your good friend describe you? We're good friends. Are we? No, I'm joking. Fun no. loving guy. Fun loving guy. Let's, let's. No, you shouldn't type he oh, is. He is. <laughs> I I'm a fun loving guy. More he introverted. But loves people. But loves people. I have a, a dark sense of humor. Because he does. He does, he does have, have a dark sense of humor. But can can that be Being construed as something awkward? I have a specific sense of humor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I like worship. I love worship and I love coffee. He likes coffee, mm-hmm. right? Frisbee. Frisbee. Oh, yeah. oh you should, very we active. should say he's a very active guy. He runs, he plays golf, he plays. He's a worship. really good tennis player. We should say that. And like, this golf. isn't to make fun of Donovan. This is to sell him. If sure. you're a girl and watching this. He's yeah. like, as we're typing, I'm like, this is a really cool guy. Really he's a nice him. fella. Yeah. yeah. And a photo. Ooh. Yes, so we, we, have we, many we do actually have a profile picture. Excellent. Your photo is processing and will appear ah. on your photos page soon. Why not add another one? What kind of work do you do? Oh, manager. Girls love a manager. Yeah. You're all set. As a trial, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, discover new, new people. people. Ooh. Hey. He's getting it. Ooh. Okay. So he has a profile now, right? Mm. Well, let's see what now. photo there is of him. Like, what's Yo, can, can we up? view? Let's go profile and settings. Whoa! Whoa! It's the best Which one. Which one's the best one? Online uh, now. This is Donovan so cool. seven five six. I am a fun loving guy. More yes. introverted, but love people. I have specific sense of humor. <laughs> I love so worship. Nice. Very active and enjoy. A this good is a cup classic catfish photo because yeah. that's a photo of him like a few years back, like at least ten yes. years back. How does this not sound like someone you wouldn't want to meet, right? Yo, like, single, just Christian. Okay. So Donovan seven five six is online on this specific dating site. Mm. Sorry, and but not, not sorry. sorry. <laughs> but, but we're helping. It's like catching fish, right? So yeah. the thing, the theory yeah. of catching fish is, by the yeah. way, if I can explain that. Yes. It's not about having the right um, bait per se, but it's yeah. always having more lines in the water. So here's another line in the water for you, my friend. We love you, we're Donovan. Get the right one. It's an odds game. But that's it for today. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. We'll see you next time on The Good Question Show. Don't do online dating. Bye. Don't do online dating. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Should Christians use online dating apps? That is a good question. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about that. that. Three, two, one. Here we go. 